Good morning all. Seems like an age since I did any filming, but uh, what with the weather, and I'm sure you've all got the same all over the country, continuous rain and rain. Lockman's loving it, but uh, I've got the mole even more now. There's tunnels everywhere up and down. It's just wrecking everything. Anyway, besides that, quite a few jobs to do. As you can see, there's a bit of comfrey needs harvesting and putting in the barrels. But uh, the first thing I'm going to have a look at is the veggie pod. It's starting to look a bit uh, untidy now. There's still one or two onions in there. So first of all, I'm going to clear that up and then we'll probably put some stuff in there. Use this as a little nursery bed and I'm going to grab some uh, radish in there, probably more spring onions and the odd lettuce and all. And that will see us through to the start of autumn. I'm just putting some blood fish and bone in here now to revitalise the soil a bit and so that will be ready for the next planting. We've got rain, you just can feel it in the air so that will wash this in nicely. The red onions that I got out of here was called uh, Guardsman, the spring onions, and I left them and there was about golf ball size so I'll just put a little clip in to what I harvested and uh, so I'm very impressed with them and I'll probably grow them again next year alongside my other wide favourites and then we're called Ramrod. Well I've checked a few weather apps and they're all saying no rain today. So the plan is I want to think about getting the onions up now because I'm just about ready. You may or might know, put a cover over the top while he's having that constant rain and that is an attempt just to keep him a bit on the dry side. I think it's actually worked. I need somewhere to store them and that's going to be the coal frame. But in there at the moment are my shallots, so I'm going to have to move them out and actually start preparing them. I'll just show you. These are the shallots and as you can see they've done very, very well. Having that glass on has been a godsend with all the rain we've had. It's kept them dry and raising it up has let some air flow in and so these are ready to be processed now. So once these are out I'll be putting the large onions in back into here. Not much finesse about the packing, but at least it does the job. So that's the shallots first prepared. I've done is just top and tail them, took the basically the leaves off, and also the root plate and all. What we do then is actually put these in hot water for a bit, and what it is loosens the skin, and then we do the salting later. But nice selection there. These are variety are called red sun. I've got the active denote which I'm still in the box there, but I'm going to sort some of them out first and actually save some from my stock for next year. Taking advantage of this dry weather as well, I'm going to have a look into the carrot tank. First one this year, we haven't done any at all, so just have a quick look inside. Lift it up. Go down. Push it down. Up. That there is a sweet candle. Hopefully, they're all going to be like that. Really happy with how this has turned out. No sign of any carrot root fly at all. So hopefully, the ultra fine mesh has done its job. Well, after much anticipation and delay, our friends shining up there, and I think it's safe to say we might have a day with no rain. And so that means I'm going to take advantage of that, get these covers off and lift the net and see what onions we can lift. covers off and you can see the first thing how very good these is the original uh, the tough ball and as I mentioned before once these got put into the ground they never actually picked up although the bulbs have slightly swollen I'll still fetch them out and maybe use them 
as uh, sets for next year. The reason I wanted to get the onions is these. And these are a mixture of the Kelsey type and also there's a Robinson's Mammoth. Although we have got one or two little strays here. If you look down this end, there's a, a white one. I don't know what it, what it is. But, um, so I'm going to get these up now. What I'll do, I'll give them a little wash and get them into the coal frame. And hopefully then we can dry them off. So these are the last of the big onions. I must say I'm very happy with these. They've done well. And considering the amount of rain we had, that polycarb on top did its job. So it's still moist underneath, but it's not waterlogged, which is what I didn't want this to happen on there. So what I'm going to do now is just brush the dirt off. If there's any stubborn stuff on, I'll give it a wash over lightly with a bit of water. Then these are going into the coal frame with the glass lights on just like the shallots did, and that dries them three to four weeks, them ready to go. There's the first few cleaned up. All I use the water for really is to get all the dirt out the roots, and uh, that's done it. So then we're going to go straight into the car frame now and say once they've dried off any surplus dirt on the skin will just brush off. Just lie these flat now. If you saw the clip, I'm not sure if it's on this video, where I put the shallots in here, they actually did a superb job of drying them out. And I'll just put the glass on the top and uh, leave a bit of airflow underneath a gap. Work wonders. All the rain we had never got wet at all. Now hopefully the same will happen with these. So that's all the onions, the big onions, washed and put in there to dry now. I do have one or two little weird ones, I don't know if you can see just under here, it's like white, but all in all, not too bad. So let's go back up and see what else we can unearth. Moving on to this bed here, the first two or three rows of the small eight-ounce onions, and these are the varieties called Vento. They've done much better than the ones in the other bed, which is a tough ball. And behind these are a few of the banana type shallots. There's one or two of the Zabrun in there, but the majority of these are a variety called Alista. And it's a variety I saw that Dan from Allotment Diaries, he grew last year, and also this year, and he's had a fantastic crop. And I must say, they've put on a decent size, but not as good as these. On the other side of the board is the red banana type shallot variety, and this one's called Long Red Florence and they've come out really big. There's just a comparison. These are the long red Florence, and these ones are the, the ones called the Lister. As you can see, both decent size, and well worth giving a try if you've not done them before. These are the Zabrun, which have served me well over previous years, but they seem to have gone downhill just a bit. And in comparison, this is the long red Florence, and you can see the difference in size. For no extra effort, all those have been grown from seed. I've got the banana shallots now all cleaned up and tidy. I've had to do a bit of improvisation because I've run out of space in the coal frame. So using this raised bed, which is ready to be in position down the bottom, I've actually put a 
raised some mesh on some bricks, popped it on the top so the air can get underneath, and I'm just going to put these in and a sheet of polycarb over the top to keep them dry. Well, that worked out just nice. As you can see, there's plenty of airflow available for the onions there. And I've got that polycarb sheet there, just the right length for the bed. is made to measure. One other thing I've done is I've put three wooden battens on, and all that is to give a bit of airflow in the top as well, so you've got a continuous circulation. So it's all left now is put the polycarb sheet on. I'll just pop a brick on there just in case we have any strong winds and uh, that's it, all done. And that brings us to the end of a glorious day. It is nice to get a bit of sunshine on our backs at last. I know I've scarred and has gone about the weather and that, but to be fair, the last three or four weeks we've had enough rain to float an ark. <laughs> As I say, it's been enjoyable today. The onions, are, well, I'll say, really happy with those. Then we're in the coal frame now and also this little temporary thing I've set up and then we're drying. If you'd like to have a look in more detail how I grow onions from seed, take a look at this video up here and also in the show notes below there'll be a link in there for you to take a look. So that's about it within this one. Many thanks for watching. I'm Nigel Dukes. You've been watching the Muddy Boots Allotment. <laughs>